day everybody while i am polishing my facade lighting design techniques ebook i received one pop-up message from my friend in linkedin and that is from mr mashur patur and he asked me nelka can you create one video for learning how to create narrow or wide beam wall washer effects on photoshop okay fine i will answer it now because it's connected to what i'm doing right now so it's very easy mashur okay so i open now my uh, photoshop and i will just create an image or file new or let me just open one facade image from uh, internet and yeah i will do it now okay so i have some stone facade here and i will try to get this one and we will run a simple simulation using the narrow beam and wide beam for this image i love to choose the stone facade because if you highlight the stone it really show it, it really shows the texture and it's really amazing so let's go and save this one now save image as i will save it in my desktop and then i will open now it in my photoshop there you go so this one is really cool okay so masrur just go and create a new copy of this one so you will not touch the original one and then let's zoom it a little wide there are two options on how you will do it in photoshop first is by using this and filter render lighting effects and then you will have a different options here like this one is the default the flat beam so we will choose this five up yes because i have one two three four five yeah we have five here and then you can see that yeah you can actually do it individually for this every stone or you can do it simultaneously so you will get the effect from the rest okay so i'm just i'm just arranging the lights now if you can see this little one it's so little <laughs> this is the crazy thing about this photoshop it's so small and then press OK and ta-da! Look at that. Isn't it cool? Okay, that's how you do, do it. So this is, I think, for the wide beam. So go and try the narrow one. So copy and click this one again. So you will have two copies now. Make sure you select this one. So let's go again. Filter, render, lighting effects. And then make it slimmer. Very slim. Yeah okay so it will be for narrow beam then you can just drag and delete it here because i'm just going to copy that slim one so just control alt and then now you have one narrow one press control alt press control alt alt while dragging it control alt there you go and then press okay all right so this is a narrow beam let's go and see the the wide one wide beam narrow beam okay and you just need to arrange those up lighters because it should be look like this not this one because see the light is a uh, bird on the ground so this is wrong it should be look like this one and for for the narrow beam uh, for the wide beam also the same okay there's another one thing this is more similar to the right optic from the photometric file itself so this one is from Photoshop, while the next one that I'm going to show you is exactly from uh, the photometric file. So let's go now to the loom search and let's look for an uplighter. So outdoor, floor recess, I say narrow beam first, and then we will just look for one brand that has narrow beam and let's use it in our design. 